My name is Daniela Moore. I came on this world as the daughter of a great painter, Pavel Kodica, in Bucharest. From small on, I was living in a family where art was on the first place and uh, human relations also. I was interested in arts, in history of arts, and in how to paint, how to draw, how to make graphics, ceramics, mosaics, um, wall paintings. I was painting in 88 in Ireland for the first time, and I have a series with paintings made with earth colors, browns, oranges, deep browns, and of course green and blue. This is a, a painting which I, um, I'm finding very dear. I like it very much. It's in these special tones of violets and greens. When I'm painting, I'm always thinking of compositions, of arranging, of making dialogues between uh, full of and empty air and form and colors, cold and warm. It's very important for me always that I'm um, mastering those. It's a way of seeing and feeling paintings, which, which is only mine. <laughs> I'm working years long on a theme. I had a fazan, pheasant theme on which I worked three years long. Uh, now, now I started a new series with a cock and, um, and uh, cock, the cock de poule. This now is a subject which is uh, preoccupating me because I sublimated the cock and the hen, which they are quite normal um, uh, <laughs> birds of our surrounding, but I sublimated them to symbols of of, of beauty, of, um, uh, of uh, uh, troyness, uh, that they are faithful, of faithfulness. And this uh, thousand years couple, Adam of, and Eve, man and wife, So I sublimated this rooster. I sublimated it and I made of him a symbol and um, I made him powerful <laughs> and intelligent and full of power. So it was a preoccupation for composition, for uh, the, the directions where his um, feathers were showing, were going. A special, very special uh, cred, a special red thing. Uh, and of course, a dialogue between um, all those colors. I had the feeling to put some other, he, he was so perfect, and then I had the, the, the feeling to, to spoil it a little bit and to make a dialogue between the forces of the lines, of the black, and the rooster. An adorable, an adorable rooster who is, who is my model since one year, and I hope he shall, <laughs> he shall be uh, still longer because I still have things to do with him. He's an adorable. Pencil with my brush on my canvas or on my mediums where I'm working on, uh, all what I have in my mind, and it can take years. <laughs> This is of April, of April this year, my rooster. My rooster is a very great painting. I'm very proud of it. It's a, I am um, metrizating the composition and the colors extremely well. Um, I want to work after because it's a, it's a spontaneous work. When I'm working after the model, and then there is the, the deep work, which when I'm working in my atelier and going it deeper and deeper and deeper and making var uh, variants, uh, variations. The variations of this theme. 
It's a piece I like. I like the di dialogue between colors. I like the directions of the, of the feathers, of the head. It's a dialogue everywhere. Different gesture, different position, and different dialogues between geometry, geometrical forms. Um, modulations of colors, interventions between colors themselves. For me, it's very important that it's a whole. It's a whole. I like sometimes to, to make graphic, the graphic things on my, on my oil um, work. The second hand, a very majestueux <laughs> hand. In fact, it's a symphony of colors and of forms and of directions, compositional directions. This is a good painting too. I like it extremely much. Why oh, put it some other colors, family of colors? I try to structurate him in some other way as before because I'm always trying to improve my themes. I'm working on them. And uh, here, this is what I try to do. Yes, sometimes my uh, model is furious <laughs> or he's singing, which was the case now. He's an Italian race, very beautiful singing, very beautiful uh, uh, colors of fire <laughs> and of earth and very full of temperament. They are more than the normal chicken, which everyone is eating. Yeah, I haven't eaten them. <laughs> I just kept them to paint. It's fantastic. You see how quiet he stays. He knows that I'm painting him for eternity. I'm always guided in my paintings from the saints of Leonardo da Vinci, who said that la pittura c'è una cosa mentale. Uh, it must come from the soul, but also from the mind. I would like to show my paintings that people are um, enjoying them to find a gallery and that they are ex exhibited in a gallery where people, they can come and appreciate them and enjoy them. <laughs>